What's up guys, Tony here, hope you're doing well. It is Thursday, April 19th, and if you've taken a look at the market cap today, guys, it's looking great. So remember I told you guys I wanted to let this play out and let's see how things go um, to make sure initially it wasn't a bull trap and also that there's a lot of manipulation in the market and we want to be careful. We don't want to jump the gun and say we're a full recovery, but I have to say, you know, looking at what we're seeing right now, I think we are in definitely in a recovery. I think we've had close to a week now of data and trends and boy, the market cap is over 360 billion uh, and you know, Ripple specifically is over 30, 30 billion again, uh, currently around 83 cents on Bitcoin, currently uh, just over 8200, uh, Ethereum around 570. And it's a lot of green here, guys. It's looking good. Uh, Ripple is up significantly in a 24-hour period at 17%, higher than Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin, so higher than all of that. So definitely a great sign. I, I love what I'm seeing, so this should make you guys happy. And, you know, I want this to continue, and I, I, I think, you know, we can probably expect some sort of a bull run soon, I think, because tax season has wrapped up. Um... And typically around this time of year, around May, is when we start seeing, uh, you know, the, the market reco recovering strongly and the start of some level of a bull run. So I don't want to say this upcoming bull run, maybe that starts in May, will be the big one. But um, I'll take it, right? Compared to what we saw in January and February, where the market was really down. Um, and we were getting a lot of positive news coming up. You know, some of the things I really want to, um, you know, happen right away as soon as possible is for more fiat pairing in a lot of these uh, cryptocurrency exchanges, such as Binance and Bittrex, because that, guys, will open up the floodgates. Because right now, you know, for new investors, there is a learning curve. There is some friction in being able to go invest in all coins and, and things you have to go buy bitcoin or ethereum transfer it to you know uh, like binance or bitrex and then buy your alts if you there's fiat pairing then you don't have to depend upon bitcoin obviously you can buy bitcoin but you can hold that you can buy different alts so sites i'm sorry exchanges like binance and bitrex really get this going and they said they will but we don't have hard dates as yet um these things will absolutely help the market to explode guys uh especially as we start getting more institutional money in the market more uh, uh fomo starting to build you know as the market gets stronger uh i i, I want that to happen i think that's going to be significant anyone can just go buy an altcoin with fiat pairing uh without having to buy you know bitcoin or ethereum and also that's also going to allow us to have separation you know where the market is not dependent upon Bitcoin. Right now, part of Bitcoin's value is the fact that you have to buy it to buy alts. Um, that's part of it. I'm not saying that's the entire value. But when you have more pe people being able to buy altcoins directly with fiat, it's going to have some separation that the, the, the market is not fully dependent upon Bitcoin. I, I still think it is, right? At this point, if Bitcoin is not doing well, then the rest of the market doesn't do well. But we want separation. And that's what we're looking for. So this is a quick video. I just wanted to give an update here. It's the market is looking solid, guys. So fingers crossed that this is, you know, the start of that big bull run. I, I personally don't think it is, but I'm hoping. Um, and let's see how this plays out. I, I think this is a great sign. I think May is going to be amazing. And, uh, you know, given uh, now if there's negative news. If someone, some FUD stirs or some FUD news comes out. We know that affects the market, so let's hope there's no negative news or bad news. Um, so let's keep an eye on this. I'll keep you guys updated, but I like what I see. You know, just I I want Bitcoin to you know head over nine thousand. Hopefully by this weekend. I know the weekend is usually slow and things kind of correct a bit, but um, let's see what happens, guys. Let's see what happens. Tax season is over and wrapped up. We got. You know, bullish news about institutional investors coming in, a lot of big money, a lot of rich people. So hoping these things just help spark the market um, in the right direction and keep keeps going up, guys. But uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm curious, you know, what's going to happen. 
um, in the next 48 to 72 hours. And let's see, see what happens here if it continues to go up. Obviously, there's slight corrections along the way, of course, but um, I think this is a great start. So wanted to make this quick video just to update you guys. What do you guys think about this? Um, you know, with the recovery that we're seeing, I think this is great. Uh, and and let's, let's keep an eye on this. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video. And please subscribe for more videos on cryptocurrency. Talk to you guys later.